What's up guys, Fury TV here, and we are back with another episode of Poker Hands. Today, we're going to be taking a look over Phil Ivey's amazing run in the $50,000 Super High Roller event in Sochi, where he ended up winning $850,000. Before getting into it, I would like to ask you guys to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our videos, as your support is allowing us to continue posting videos on a daily basis. Under the gun. And with Ace Queen, why not? Everyone folds, and it's Ivan on the button. And Ivan again raises it up. Phil's gonna drop it in on him once more. The funny part is he oh, he's got 150 right, so he's not folding the mm -hmm. Jack 10. Snap call Jack 10 fold the Ace Jack. <coughs> yep. A little different scenario, but still. Nearly a flip though, Jeff. Yeah. It's mine. I'll take Jack 10. How about that? Even though we saw Paul. Paul won an important ace queen to ace jack today. The final three. The day of the ace queen changing this is, my friend. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's on my team. It's it's moving in the right direction. Phil likes that flop. He's going to love that turn. It's going to put the hundo percent up. A little check mark. And then Ivan is going to be throwing one of those chips in. The cover. <coughs> he does indeed cover. <laughs> As Jeff points out, one of those blue chips finds his way to the... Yeah, stop watching nonsense and cartoons. <laughs> Read your mind. <laughs> That's how I survive, bro. <laughs> yeah, Seth, poker life's so hard, I'm right? not going to play sevens like, off his short stack. Buy first tournament cash, you know. Life is tough. <laughs> then I get that big. I have to like go back, watch cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> That's your routine. Mike's over here, like... Taking cold showers, whipping himself. <laughs> yeah, fucking going to gym. <laughs> so I'm disciplined to watching my cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Now I now I understand. Was like, I was confused. Ivy completing king queen of hearts in the hijack. So a guy with ten nine in the cutoffs does the same. And Michael is going to check the very garbage looking ace eight on the button. Does have that all important position. King at seven six. A couple of clubs. Soiza with well back doors. So a guy with the gut shots the nuts. But Phil leads top pair. Queen kick and back door hearts. Is Michael Soiza who's going to stab at this when checked to? It seems reasonable. 6 7 in the lowest cards in the deck suit. The man who checked back more than the guys who limped in. And he has a lot of cards he can continue to barrel on. I bet just 70k has been called by Ivy. And so okay, I thought about it for a moment. Maybe trying to snap an eight off. <coughs> well, gin card for Ivy. He checks and decision for Soyza now, of course. He knows Phil can have a king when he check calls flop. He can also put him on some draws. The issue is he has the ace of clubs and he has an eight, so he blocks the draws. Waits Ivy back towards the pairs. And also, he's still ahead of those draws. So he does check back now. Things get interesting. Third king on the board. Ivy with quads. <coughs> now, really hard to imagine Phil's got a seven or a six from the hijack. He can, he can have the case king for sure. He goes for a big bet in the end, 300. Perhaps hoping that Soiza had a hand like 9s or 10s. Blocking that first spot. No, I had the nuts. Yeah. Well, not the nuts. Okay. I had the nuts like you, we had the last time. Okay. I lost two quads. And I get some straight flashes. 
I'm talking about the hand the other day. Sam and Ivy played three-handed. I feel quad aces, Sam with the nut flush. It was a brutal one. Speaking of bad situations, Phil finds himself in one here. Queen Jack of Diamonds completes. Soiza finds Queens in the cutoff. And has increased that chip lead ever so slightly after the last hand. Raises up just 200k more. Phil is going to hang around here with Queen Jack of Diamonds. And wow, flops a flush draw on Ace A7. He does check it to Soiza, who do a little bit of both there, I think, with Queens. There's only one bad card in the deck for you. The King. There's no way it fills in there with a hand like 6, 8, or 8, 9. Doesn't have to worry about that wheel coming in. Queens, no diamond. Seems like a better candidate for a bet, and that's what he's done. Flush on the turn. Bill gets the check mark. Can't lose this one. Just shy of a million in the pot. Okay. Looks like he's going to come out with a lead. This, of course, is going to make Michael fold this hand, you'd imagine, but it'd be very hard for him to fold an ace. thinking long and hard about this one but it's really hard to put Phil on too many bluffs at this stage and if you are getting bluffed you just gotta let that one go. Stack swaps. with ace 10 of hearts in the hijack is going to make it 300. Sergo with ace queen behind is going to jam. He has 1.2 million. Phil asked for a count. Look at the news. It's 960 more to win 1700. Hard to see him folding this one win. Of course, this is one of the worst spots for him being up against bigger race, but he can be up against big pocket pairs, much closer to even. Can, of course, be up against how much King Queen suited as well. Phil counting out that call. That's two million behind. If he doesn't win the pot. Saga so will take it. 
2.6 million chip pot. It's a big favourite. Well, at least a big favourite for this game. Ten, nine, seven. Ivy takes the lead. So you're needing a runner, runners, or a queen. Runners, of course, a lot more likely in this game. Well, those aren't the runners he's looking for. Ivy picks up the flush draw. So I go reduce just to those three outs. And Phil ends up with tens full. Shot deck, shot deck, shot deck. <coughs> so, guy, fifth for cheat time. So, 1 p.m. Central Europe. Kay. For now, we get to watch Ivy in action in short deck. He limps the hijack, ace king. Check. Lee checks his option. Ten nine of hearts. Yeah, well, flopper gives it a little something to both. Ivy top pair. Is a bingo turn for Phil. Top two gives Lee gut shot draw and a straight flush draw. As well as, of course, still that one pair, although that holds a little value at this stage. Phil, aware of this board texture. Bet's big, 400. Lee can't do anything but cool with his hand. Brick on the river. Pot stands at 1.1 million. Phil feels very comfortable about his hand. Aces raise pre, kings raise pre, king queens raise pre. Only hand he loses to here is Jack 10. Perhaps nines. So he goes big, hoping to be up against a weaker two pair. Unfortunately for him, it was the missed draw he was up against. And getting a couple of callers, and Ivy smashes this one. 10 a 8 top boat. And it's maybe a spot Lee decides he has to continue. He has aces, he has kings, he has queens, the others cannot have. With that range advantage, it's going to be at 400. Of course, Phil's just going to call here. And the question is, what happens? down the streets. But Ivy just doesn't have an eight here, calling that raise pre-flop. Lee can give him credit for a 10, but that's about it. Well, it's a queen now, so this changes things a lot. Lee doesn't want to bluff now. Thinks he has the best hand.
checks. And it's a weird spot for Phil. He doesn't really have many strong hands. Bet's 800. How much play? Probably not a bet Lee was expecting to see. One point eight. Right, thanks. More. It's not a good sign. Really awkward spot, in fact. Does he think Phil? Would bet with a hand like Queen Jack called the flop. I think Phil can have Jack Nine calling 400 pre flop. Oh, there you go. Just thinks he has the best of it too much. And somehow Ivy has about the only hand that's better than Ace Queen in a set of tens for top boat. Lead, of course, with a couple of outs. Man has got out of a couple of holes. This one would be the toughest eight. so far. Hmm? The 2.8. You got two outs. Okay. No change on the river. Ivy, the new chip leader, up to 7.3 million. Well, they're all having a go with this lead. Let's see what Ivy does with it. They completes Queen Six of Hearts. Soiza. I'm going to raise the first hand heads up, and that will be the end of this one. Queen Six, not a hand Phil can continue with. Well, I say that. He's reaching for chips. This is a very bad hand. But he is going to see the flop for what is just over a 3x and a position. Seven seven six, an unlikely board for Phil to have hit, but he has done just that. So he has a little bit more of that, having been the pre-flop raiser. He's a wider range. Check calling this flop. Picks up hearts on the turn. We'll check once again. I think Soyza was a one and done situation on this flop. of rivers are king, but it's bad news. It's Ivy makes the flush. Every reason for Phil Ivy to believe that Soiza has connected with some part of this now. He was the pre-flop raiser. He bet the flop. He chipped the turn. He has some king x. He has even some jack x that may have elected to check the turn. Ivy bets big. That's the pot, 1.2 million. 
He has some bluffs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eight, nine. Eight, ten, nine, ten. We're going to want to bluff. Unfortunately for him, Soiza has a nine, which makes it one of the worst hands him to call with. On the flip, he does have the nine of hearts, so he blocks some of those hands that may have made flushes. And there you go. That is why he calls it off. Bluff, is it? Yeah. Just a flush. Yeah. That's all. Easy game. So one hand into heads up, and Ivy has now taken the lead. Soiza had that terrible luck yesterday in the 100k, no limit. With one of the connections here. I've been informed that it should be fixed now. So we shouldn't have any more problems as we look to crown our final champion on the stream this week. Soiza, now the man in the lead. Phil the Goat Ivy. Falling behind a little. But he has a very nice hand here. King, Queen of Hearts on the button. We'll be seeing this raised for sure when it's limped to him. Bingo, flop for Phil. Jack, nine of hearts. Gives him a gut shot straight flush draw. Michael, second pair and a gut shot draw himself on a board that... Wow, he just moved it in. There's a pair and a gut shot. A pair and a gut shot. Well, you're ahead, but you're a big underdog. Phil Ivey. With a myriad of outs. 70% to get there in this pot. Not the hand Michael wanted to see when he was called. He'd take his chances against a big pair, I need but not against those 14 seven. outs. <laughs> <laughs> with no heart. Uh, this is the same cut with uh, Viking against Palomo. Yeah, yeah. Same cut as Palomo. Yeah, same. Yeah. Same. Oh, okay. Jack on the turn. That's He's halfway you. there, and it is now a straight <laughs> flip. <laughs> huh? So close the other day. Needs this to have a chance to win this title. There it is. Ooh. Not flush oh. on the end. He hit flush. And, well, by far and away sucks. the biggest pot of the tournament. 13 million chips. Michael, below the yeah. three. I all in. Lim, Lim, raise, call, flop, I open, shove. All in. Phil does move it in. Dun, 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 dun. And he's not going to get action from King 7. Oh, sorry. Michael, 2.3 million chips. Thinking about it. See against a hand like he's up against. He still has over 40% equity. And so he does decide to gamble. There we go. He knows Phil can have Jack 10, Queen 9, hands like this. And he says, you know what, King High, let's go. Phil Ivy with the slender lead, holding a six of hearts. Trying to avenge his bad fortune from two days ago. Wow, a huge flop for him. King, Play Jack, eight, flop. two hearts. But it is Soiza now, who again is in a straight 50-50, holding that top pair. Phil says it's always spicy. He just won a 50-50 a moment ago. Heading to the river now. A two to one dog. 
but he does pick up. Some extra outs. Doesn't need him. Makes a flushy yet again. Two not heart flushes for Phil Ivy. In the space of a few hands. It means we crown our final champion. And it is Phil Ivy, the GOAT, walking out the winner. Michael Souza. Well, he had to wait a while for a cash this week. It came in event seven and it's for over half a million dollars. For second place, always bittersweet. He came in as the chip leader. He held that chip lead for much of the final. Went shoulders with three left, came back, got the chip. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like, drop a comment, and don't forget to subscribe for the best poker videos on YouTube. Make sure to also check out our previous video if you missed it, and let us know in the comments below what you would like to see on the next Fury TV.